Hey everybody, it's Mr. Mathlog here, and uh, this lesson is on 2.7. This is a quick lesson, you guys. We're multiplying using partial products, uh, so by now you're getting used to your new textbook, and, and hopefully you're having a good time with your new teacher, and they're doing a good job in your class. I'm sure they are. Let's go ahead and begin, you guys. So uh, the common course strand is here. We're going to... Um, uh, uh, it's right above for the teachers right there. So how can we use place value in partial products? Uh, to multiply by a one digit number okay so that's what we're going to do is multiply one digit numbers and we're going to use a place value here okay and we're going to expand our numbers so this is a quick lesson so um, uh, use place value and partial products to multiply eight times 183 okay well let's first estimate this you guys uh, to the nearest hundred okay so 183 rounds up to 200 it's closer to 200 than it is, than it is to 100 so 8 times 200, well, 8 times 2 is 16, and then there's hundreds right here, so it's 1,600, or 16 with those two zeros right there, okay? So 1,600 right there, okay? 8 times 2 is 16, then with these two zeros, remember that? Okay, and since uh, 200 is larger than 183, then 1,600 is going to be a little bit larger than uh, whatever 8 times 183 is. Okay, here we go. So here I'm gonna uh, I, I just drew a, a box right here so I here's my 100 plus 80 plus 3 remember 183 is a hundred plus 80 plus 3 okay and so if we separate them up into rectangles right here I got a I have a rectangle 8 by a hundred here I have a rectangle 8 by 80 and then here we have another rectangle 8 by 3 so there's my 183 up there okay so we're gonna go ahead and multiply 183 times 8 and here, uh, the, the 8 and this 8 right here and this 1 for the 100s are highlighted in blue. So we're going to multiply uh, the 100s, okay? We're going to multiply this number. So 8 times 100 is 800s, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and shade this rectangle in for 800 right there, okay? Easy enough. All right, then the next thing we're going to do, all right, is, um, is we're going to multiply... Uh, the tens now. This is in the tens right here. So we're going to multiply 8 times 8 tens. Okay, well, 8 times 8 is 64. So that's going to be 64 tens. All right, so 64 tens is going to be 640 right there. Here's my 64 tens right there. It ends in a zero. Okay, so I shaded this one. This is 64 tens. All right, I'm getting down kind of low, so I moved it up right there. Okay, now we're going to multiply. Uh, the ones now, the three is in the ones. So eight times three is going to be 24 ones. Okay, so 24 is going to go right here. All right, okay, and then so I shaded that in up there. So now what we're going to do is add all the partial products. Okay, so 800 plus 640 plus 24 is right here. 800 plus 640 plus 24. Four plus zero plus zero, there's four right there. Four plus two is six. And then finally, 8 plus 6 is 14, so 1,464. So let's uh, go ahead and answer the question here. Okay, so uh, 8 times 183 is 1,464. Remember, you guys, our estimate was 1,600, so we knew it was going to be a little bit less than that. And that seems like a reasonable answer right there, because it is a little bit less than 1,600. Okay, explain how we could use the distributive property to find 6 times 328. Okay, well, we can expand 328 to 300 plus 20 plus 8. And then we can distribute through 6 times 300, 6 times 20, 6 times 8. Okay, 6 times 3 is 18, so an 18 with two zeros. 6 times 2 is 12, so a 12 with one zero. Finally, 6 times 8 is 48, so we, we can get uh, that right there, and then when we add all those up, we get uh, 1,968, okay? Easy enough if you just expand it out and then use the distributive property going through right there, okay? All right, so use place value and partial products uh, uh, to multiply 3 times 4,567. Okay, this would round up. It's closer to 5,000, so we're going to, to estimate, you guys, let's multiply 3 times 5,000. Well, 3 times 5 is 15, so I'm going to add three zeros to bet that. That's going to make it 15,000 right there. And since 5,000 is bigger than 4,567, it's going to be less than this right here, a little bit less than this, okay? So let's go ahead and multiply the 3 times the 4,000 right there, okay? So 
3 times 4 thousands is 12 thousands, so I have three zeros for my thousands right here. Now we're going to multiply 3 times the 5 hundreds right here. 3 times the 5 hundreds is going to be 15 hundreds right there, okay? Now we're going to multiply 3 times the 6 tens right there. The 6 is in the 10 spot, so it's 3 times uh, 6 tens is 18 tens, okay? So 18 with the 0 right there. Finally, 3 times the 7 ones. 3 times the 7 ones is 21 ones. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and add all those partial products up right there. So let's go ahead and add. 1 plus all these zeros is 1. 2 plus 8 is 10. So I'll put a 0 right here and carry the 1 right here. So 1 plus 0 plus 5 plus 1 is 7. And then no carry. So 2 plus 1 is 3. And then finally plus 1. Okay, so I get... Um, uh, we get uh, 1, 000, or 13,701, okay? And is that reasonable with our e uh, estimation? Yeah, it is, because remember we said it was going to be a little bit less than that, okay? Told you this lesson was easy. All right, you guys, take care.